Hi, welcome to The Daily Breath. My name is Heather Holloway and I'm a breathwork practitioner. I'm coming to you today from the deck outside of our bedroom out in the back of the house. And I came out here to clear my head. And as you can see today, I wanted to talk a little bit about this newer phenomenon, which is that we wear masks when we go outside. I don't wear masks usually when I go outside around my house. But I went to CVS today, like you do, and I wore this mask, which Rob made for me. Rob is my partner, which was very sweet. Uh, he upcycled a t-shirt <laughs> and I think some shoelaces or something. And he hand sewed it, which was so nice, and I appreciated it so much. When I get out to CVS, um, it just, I felt like a bank robber or something from a bad movie and I'm putting this stupid mask on and I'm going in there and then there seemed to be different people. Like some people were just wearing their masks and getting on with their shopping and then some people seemed to be kind of um, overly concerned about how close anybody was to them. You know, in CVS where the arrow, not, excuse me, the aisles are narrow. So I had a lot of feelings about that and it made me feel really anxious. <laughs> it's hard to keep it on, it's so weird. But I didn't touch my face, see? <laughs> and I felt really anxious, I have to say. It, it, I felt like I couldn't breathe somehow. It was very hot and uncomfortable. So if you're having feelings about wearing masks when you go out to the shop or out and about, I'd love to hear your comments. So it's a strange new phenomenon and I think we all maybe have feelings about it. So please share your feelings if you'd like. I'd love to hear from you. So today I thought I would share some breath work while wearing this mask because in reality I had to use some breath work techniques in order to get myself beyond a slight feeling of panic about wearing this thing and you know not being able to smile or show my expression to people like how does anyone know what I'm thinking if you can only see a little bit of my face? So what I did is some slow breathing through my nose and I focused on a different part of my body. So I was feeling anxious around my face and you know this was weirding me out. So I, I sent my energy to or my attention to my own heart. You know heart centered um, breathing is really powerful. And I just did slow breathing through my nose and it got me through it. So I'm going to do with you now um, five, just five breaths of breathing, but I want you to really focus on your heart while you're breathing. Really bring your attention down to your, to your heart center, your heart area, and maybe think about what I did as I thought about someone I really cared about and that got me into that sort of feeling place rather than that kind of panic place. It took me out of my head, you know, my crazy monkey brain and brought me down into my heart and that made me feel more centered while I was in CVS shopping. So let's just do, I'm going to count since you can't see my face, <laughs> I'll count with my fingers for you. We'll do five breaths just slowly in through the nose, out through the nose if that's good for you, if not any way you like it, but really with a focus on the heart. So I'm going to put one hand on my heart while I do this and maybe you can too. I didn't do this while I was shopping, but I, I energetically did this. Okay, here we go. Slow breathing. Ready? Now we know if you breathe at a rate of six breaths per minute or even a little slower, your heart rate goes down, your blood pressure goes down, and your vagus nerve is um, activated, which means you become more relaxed. So slow breathing is always a great answer, and slow breathing through your nose. The nose really helps you not gulp for air, but just take slow inhales and exhales. So that's our technique for tonight, wearing a mask. And if you're wondering why it's so late, it's like 11 o'clock, 
I came home and I was just felt exhausted and I laid down to take a nap and I slept for like four hours and um, I think maybe in a way being out here is reflective of two things. One, I find that when I've had a problem in the past I always would sit on the porch and talk to somebody about it. So I'm sitting out here on the back porch. And two, it's nighttime and it's dark and I sometimes wish that I'd wake up and this is just a bad dream, like just a stupid dream, but it's not. <laughs> So, until next time, I'm unmasking. Until next time, thank you for joining me. I appreciate being able to reach out to you every day. And we are capable people. I believe in you and I believe in us. And together, we're going to get through this just fine. And remember our motto, which is, we cannot control what is going on around us, but we can control our response. Thanks everybody, have a great night. Night night.